Hey guys, listen, this recipe is reinventing the casserole. We have cheesy herby mashed potatoes packed full of tiger shrimp that will blow your mind. So if you're liking the way this looks, definitely stay tuned for the recipe. Okay, so first we're gonna get started. We're gonna just peel some good old potatoes. Don't mind me watching Mark Wings in the back. We're gonna boil those bad boys. While the t potatoes are boiling, we're gonna start cutting up our herbs, our fresh herbs. We're using some parsley, and we're also gonna be using some chives as well. But you wanna make sure you get a nice, good handful, wash them off, and chop them up really, really finely. You don't want any big chunks of parsley. I mean, I don't. I guess some people like that fresh taste, but I'm not one for it. I like for it to be cohesive with the dish. I don't like big chunks of parsley. So we're just gonna chop that up really finely. Once that's nice and fine, we're gonna set that aside in a nice little plate. Use any plate of your desire. And once all of that is transferred, we're gonna start chopping up our chive. I have some fresh chive here. I'm using a nice handful of those as well. You're gonna wash those really, really, really well. Cut off the tips and the butts, that's what I call them. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna chop those up really, really finely. Um, make sure you go through your bushel or your bunch to make sure there are no um, spoiled pieces. Sometimes they like to hide in there. They kind of look like straw, they turn yellow. Very easy to spot. So make sure you really go through before you start chopping up your chives to make sure all of that is gone. So yes, so once all that is said and done, chop it up really nicely. Look, get this nice little action piece, yes. Nice and fine. Um, and then we're gonna set them to the other side of the plate. Use the same plate, save dishes. I hate washing dishes, so I use the same plate for everything. So yes, make sure you set that aside, clean your workspace, and let's get into it. Right now I'm gonna melt a stick of butter. My potatoes are done, we're gonna start mashing that, but we're gonna also add the butter. Add the butter and start to mashing. It's gonna give you a nice little arm workout, so don't fret. We need those, 2020, get them guns up. We're gonna add um, eight ounces of sour cream. Um, it's gonna give it a nice thick texture. That's what you want. I know while I'm mixing this, it's gonna look thick, especially as we go on in the recipe, but you know, that's what you want. You want it thick. So we're adding salt and some white pepper, some black pepper as well. Sprinkle that on in there to your taste, but desires. Um, I like mine's a little spicier, so I add about a tablespoon of black pepper teaspoon of, of white pepper um so i'm not using milk at the time but i still wanted a rich creamy taste so i'm using some coffee meat and surprisingly that worked really really well you want to add about one fourth a cup of that and just continue to mash it all up mash it on up until it's nice and soft and fluffy um yeah and get that arm workout in now we're going to go in with some adobo about two tablespoons of that i mean two teaspoons not tablespoons sorry y'all um, about two teaspoons of that at first. Um, I do taste it and then I go on and add another tablespoon. So definitely taste while you're mixing it up and use it to your taste buds desires, you know? Now we're going in with some sharp cheddar cheese. We're gonna fold that in there because we want this to be cheesy, baby, cheesy. We wanna scoop it up and have that string cheese pool situation. That's what we're going for. So we're adding about a cup of, a cup of sharp cheddar cheese and we're going in with about mm, a fourth of a cup of chives and then we're gonna do a nice palm full of parsley. Okay, now we're just gonna fold that up and you wanna fold it because you don't wanna do too much damage to your parsley because then you lose kind of like the flavor of the parsley when it's like too manipulated you know what i'm saying um it could also be in my head but i just feel like you lose some of that parsley taste and flavor so we're just gonna fold it up very nice and neatly once it's folded up we are going to um add some more seasoning so definitely taste it as, as you see i'm going back in with adobo um and i think that's the only seasoning that i go back in with so definitely taste it and again season to your preference um, so in total, I think I used a tablespoon and a half of adobo. Now we have our nice clean flat pan, our aluminum pan, and we're just gonna transfer all of the mashed potatoes into that pan, okay? 
So just dump it all in there like I'm doing at first. I thought it scooping it would be cute. But I'm like, listen, I got things to do. So I just dump it in there. And now I'm just mashing it down. You want it to be as even as possible. I was trying to make it cute again, but I don't know if I got time for that. So I'm just smushing it all in there, get it nice and flat. And again, you want your mashed potatoes thick because you want it to be nice and thick. Now we're going to um, move on to our shrimp. We are just, um, they're already de -veined. Um, they're already de shell. It's just that little tail still on there. So I'm just removing all the tails from all the shrimp. Because don't nobody want that. Don't nobody want to want to be eating the potatoes and then picking out shells like while you're eating it or biting into a shrimp and eating some shell. Like, good dad. So we're going to season our shrimp with some paprika, some red chili flakes, some chili powder, some black pepper, some Old Bay because you can't forget the Old Bay now. And you want to really season it well. And I'm using my hands just to mix it all up. You want all them shrimps to be coated, baby. Coated. Because that's where all the flavor is. All right, so now I have about two tablespoons of butter in a pan. Um, and I'm letting that melt. And I'm just going to add all my shrimp into that pan. And I'm just going to let it cook. See, just like that. Just drop it all in there. Let it cook up. You know, um, but here's the tea, all right? You don't want to cook your shrimp all the way through. You want there to still be some shrimp that looked a bit undone, undercooked, because we're popping into the oven. So you don't want to overcook your shrimp because then it'll get gummy and that's nasty. So then we're going to dump all of our shrimp into the potatoes and just mix it up. Because listen, we don't got time to be cutting up shrimp. Listen, this is a quick meal, okay? Quick. So we just dump it in, mix it all up. Once the shrimp are all submerged and mixed up into that mashed potato mixture, we're going to dump more cheese on top because, <laughs> hello, cheese and potatoes just go. So we're doing a whole bunch of cheese, not a whole bunch, maybe about a half cup of cheese, just sprinkle on top. We're going to go in with some paprika because it don't taste like nothing, but you use it for color. We want a nice golden brown top, so that's why we're adding the paprika to the top. Um, and so once that's done, just add it to the oven. And when you're done cooking, maybe cook it for about 10 minutes until all that cheese is nice and melty. Sprinkle some more chives on top because chives has that nice oniony flavor, but it's not super strong. And then a little parsley for color. And listen, and that's that on that. Honey, look. Look at what we got. Look at what you just did there. Sexy, cheesy, buttery, fluffy goodness. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to just pat myself on the back because I did that. And it was delicious. Listen, all you need to do is come up with like a vegetable side i had asparagus with this because you don't need a protein that's already in there you got your carbs in there as well so here i'm scooping some up in a bowl just so that y'all can get the action get the action just uh, just scoop it up in that bowl oh and it was so cheesy look at them string pools girl let me tell you something this was the bomb. This was so good. And it went really well with the asparagus as well. But you can do broccoli. You can do a little side salad. You can do whatever you want. And I sprinkled a little bit more parsley and stuff on top for color. That's about it. But um, that's it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this recipe. This was my first talking recipe. So hopefully it worked well for you guys. And that's it. Um, if you like it, definitely give me a like and subscribe. Bye, y'all.